Hello students, we'll now be uh, exploring the simulation, the circuit construction kit. Yeah, this is a good simulation because you can create your circuits without using any actual electric devices, which, uh, you know, makes the danger levels practically zero, unless your computer explodes for some reason. I suggest that you do this in a computer so that you can really do everything that you should. So if you click the intro, you would see the layout of the simulation. On the left, we see some materials that we can use to make a circuit, okay? On the right, we have some thingy magics. For instance, if I want to make, let's say, a circuit that only contains a battery, some wires, and a resistor, or make it a light bulb, okay? So you can drag and drop them, you connect the ends, of the elements and when the circuits close you produce electricity now it's up to you if you want to see the current or not you just uncheck this if the current is in the form of the electrons you would see that the electrons are moving from the negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the battery because negative repels negative and negative is attracted to the positive side now if you use the conventional current you would see the opposite because for conventional current it's always from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery. Now for the labels, eh, it only works for the materials. For the values, let's say you want to know the voltage of this battery and the resistance of this bulb. You check the labels so that you would know that the volts of this battery is 9 volts and the resistance of this light bulb is 10 ohms. Now we have the voltmeter and the ammeter. The voltmeter measures the voltage and the ammeter measures the current. If you want to measure the voltage, let's say, of this light bulb, you need to put the pins of the voltmeter to the wire surrounding it. As we can see, since the voltmeter says that the voltage is 9 volts, it means the voltage in this battery is 9 volts. Now, if you want to measure the current at any point on the circuit, you just point the crosshairs in any part that you want to measure. So for instance, in this case, the current in this wire is 0.9 amperes. Here, it's 0.9 as well, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now for the two buttons here, at the lower left corner, it's used to zoom out and zoom in on your work. You press the zoom out button so that you'll have more working space, and you press the zoom in to see the circuits in detail. Oh, by the way, if you press this button, you would see the schematic diagram of our circuit, just like what I've shown in the PowerPoint. And if you click the reset button, everything goes back to the way it is. Now, using this simulation, we can explore some of the other weird circuits. But let's first explore the simple circuit. 